Okay, welcome to Path Soundbites IGTV. Keeping new music alive is what I do on the radio and now on video. Conducting live chats with the artists and learning the story behind their latest release and also playing their new video. Special thanks today to my sponsor, GoGo Tuners, for all guitar players looking for a focus on ease of use, readability, durability, and accuracy. Look no further. The GoGo Tuner is the choice of many touring professionals and a favorite of casual players. GoGo's signature green you're in and red you're out screen makes tuning quick and easy. For more information, go to the website at gogotuners.com. Special thanks to WBXO Classic Rock Radio Redefine, allowing me to keep new music alive on the radio airways on the Pat Show every Sunday from 5 to 8 Eastern Standard Time. Only on WBXO Classic Rock Redefined. And a big thank you to Mr. Evan Balzer for allowing me to use his amazing instrumental that you're hearing right now. It's called Trails. To find out more incredible music by Evan, go to his website at evanbolzer.com. And today's special guest is the lead vocalist of the incredible rock band Sons of Silver, Mr. Peter Argelopoulos. Sons of Silver will be hosting their debut live stream this Thursday night, October the 8th, 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. Guaranteed to be performing some of the awesome tracks from their EP, Doomsday Noises. I'm going to talk to Peter about this cool event. I'm going to play the video for the track, Deep Division. It's going to be a great time with Peter Argelopoulos of Sons of Silver, right here on Pat Soundbites IGTV. Welcome to Pat Soundbites Unplug IGTV. And if you can hear that, read them their rights. Got keeping new music alive on the radio and on video on my man, Peter Argelopoulos. Did I get it right? How are you, man? I <laughs> love this song. I love the EP. Thank you. I, I love your show. I got to check it out, man. I got I to gotta mute it out here so we can chat, but I love it. I've been listening to the EP all day long. Sons of Silver. I got no clothes on but the shirt. I love the shirt. World on fire. I love it all. Deep Division, Root Awakenings, Outbreak. Uh, what did I miss? There's five, right? Yeah, read yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, I'll bring World on Fire. Uh, I don't know, I'm terrible uh, with that. Oh, oh Rude Awakening, Rude Wait, Awakening. That's my, favorite, that's my favorite song on the EP. Oh, come on, Pat. Uh, come on. No, well, I didn't even remember. We're, we're, we're together. I think you know, we're on that uh delayed mental path, or whatever it is today, right? The last time we chat, we had a great chat. You rolled the dice, it was fun, and you guys have taken off like a rocket ship looking at just the views of the videos my goodness one million views for read them they're right 279,000 for rude awakening 271 i want to say for deep division which actually you just put out not too long ago and the momentum is going and going and the fans at least the fans in new york and around the surrounding areas that listen to my show love Sons of Silver. I've given out all the t-shirts and the minute I start posting stuff with you guys, I get hit up. And I, exciting news this Thursday, Peter. Thank you. Thank you, Pat. Yeah, exciting news this Thursday. We got our first live stream. F fingers crossed it goes well because as you know, <laughs> the technical side of this stuff is is a little challenging. But yes, yeah, we're going to, we're it's uh, October, Thursday, October 8th. Was it 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific? I guess the 7 p.m. Eastern is what counts the most for you. And uh, our debut live stream playing songs from our EP. We're going to be performing at our recording studio, and it's a multi-cam setup. We have four cams, so it's not just like one static thing, you know, one camera. And we're playing electric. Not, you know, not defaulting to acoustic. It's it, we, we took some time to get the 
get the kinks out because, uh, you know, as I'm sure you know, streaming is not like recording and mixing, you know, in normal <laughs> situations. Everything, all the audio gets discombobulated on the way up to the streaming distribution service like YouTube or Facebook. And uh, so we, we had to work on getting our mix appropriate for that a little more low end at times because that gets cut out so but uh yeah it should be fun and, and um it, it's it's interesting I, I test we've tested it out a little bit when you're performing for a camera and that's it <laughs> and <you're, laughs> we had one person was like you know why aren't you guys all you know rocking out in a certain way so well i'm looking at a little camera in my yeah. face it's this big and you feel a little odd at times so but but we're really looking forward to it. we've already had a lot of people hit us up in fact in, in latin america can you give us this, this the times to translate them to latin american wow times? Like, sure yeah so it's, it, it should be pretty fun it's going to be simulcast on instagram facebook youtube on sons of silver if you haven't subscribed if you haven't liked if you haven't gone to instagram you need to do that sons of silver.com get a shirt buy the ep i love the videos dude i i have i really enjoy you going around and showing the behind the scenes Brina, Dave as a guitarist there that was a great <laughs> i was yes. i don't know if you read my comment i go i love that Rock and Roll Hall of Fame drummer guitarist. That is beautiful. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that was that was that was pretty funny because actually we I because Dave and I are the are the same height. It's it's funny because people you know we have tall people in this band and and uh, and often I think folks think I'm a little shorter. I'm actually just under under six feet tall. And but Kevin and and Adam are like six three and six four. Uh, actually, Kevin's a little taller, but. Uh, and uh, and Brina Brina is is five nine, which is is tall for, for a lady for a girl, but um, so Dave was my stand in, and then I see him. He start get starts getting into it, you know, with the guitar. I'm like, grab my phone, go over there and start videoing. Mean, and and people were lighting that one up. They love that one, you know. <laughs> Dave is such a character. I I I mean, we we all love each other, but Dave is he's such a fun guy, such a funny and fun guy, so sweet. You know, you're really lucked out because being so close with these guys, or maybe I should say um, living near each other to be able to, you know, take the test. Everybody's good. And yeah. everybody can be actually in the studio, not sending wave files to Seattle or this or that. It's been a big, had to be a big home run for you guys. You know, two things on that one to address that directly. Absolutely. And, and, and in all fairness, we work to keep it that way. I, I would say all of us at this point, we are, we're all in, in the Los Angeles area. Bree and I in, in the Venice Beach, Santa Monica area, our studios in Santa Monica, and uh, everyone else is, you know, within a 20 to 30 minute drive. And, uh, but it's, it's, we all want to leave Los Angeles. I'll just be straight up. We're, we're, we're a little over it. And uh, but but we want to we want to make sure wherever we go, we're close. It's not anything that's going to happen soon for us uh, because we're so busy right now. We, we can't afford to take take time away from that uh, to, to reassemble elsewhere. Um, but 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 it's really important to stay close because we, we couldn't make the music we make if we were in different places. Uh, we, there's the writing process. There's so much. Eye, eye contact, so many subtleties that you can only get when you're in one room. It, it just wouldn't happen. It's, it's very old school in that sense. And, and secondly, uh, it's interesting because I, I, we've had a you know, number of inter interviews, conversations over the recent weeks with folks uh, about similar si situations where bands are trying to work remotely. And, and for instance, a couple have said to us, they think 80, 90% of bands, are, bands now, even rock bands are working remotely. Mm -hmm. I, I I don't know how you do that. I mean, I'm thinking back to where you, you, you all get in a room, like I was saying, and you're looking at each other, you're, you're, you're loud together, you're quiet together, you, you, you hear certain things that, 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 that at the moment, so that you cue off of that and start running in different directions. I, I, I don't know not only how you do that, I don't even know what the fun of that would be. I mean, it's, you know, I don't know. That, and, I'm being judgmental, you take what you do, no, whatever you have to no, do. No, 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 no. I'm not a musician, and you showcased that on one of the videos. There's Adam with an acoustic guitar with you on his right and Kevin across 
I believe. And you're just talking about, you know, the certain core. Wait, wait, do that again. Do this, do that. Yes. Move forward. And you would miss that chemistry, that magic. You don't get that sending the wave file to Seattle or New York or Nashville no. or wherever. You don't. And, you, no. you know, it's like having those guys. And that was one of my questions. I mean, just watching that short clip for, for, for folks or fans, can you just describe the decision – making involved when it comes to even putting out a great track like world on fire or reading their rights or deep division. I mean, and then you don't want to take, you know, you could make decisions all day long. And then finally you got to say, okay, we got right. it, you know, cause you could overdo it and then yeah. you could oh. kill it. Right. So talk no, to me a little bit. No, you of, never do that. <laughs> talk to me a little bit about that, Peter. I mean, of what we don't see. I One of these days on my bucket list, I want to be a fly on the wall and just watch the magic. Shut my mouth, don't say a word, and just watch how that all generates it. I feel that is so interesting. I You know, one of the questions I always had years ago was, what's the ingredients to make a, a, a top number one single, you know, for an artist that had one? And they just look at me like, I don't know, people liking it, but, you know, it's just, just to watch that magic. But the decision-making, you know, with all you there was uh, just interesting to watch on video. And it's not an uh, easy I'm, thing, I'm, right? I'm, I'm really I'm really glad to hear that. And it's genuinely you know, very glad to hear that. And I appreciate it because, uh, there, look we're not none of us are are huge social media fans we we've actually i i've i'm the leader on it dave participates a lot too bring it you know chimes in when she can uh you know grabbing the video camera or whatever we keep we keep a gopro in the corner of the room now that anyone can grab and turn on and start grabbing stuff and uh but but it's you know it can be very in invasive and i don't necessarily mean because there's a camera in your face but but you you actually have to step outside of what you you're doing your, your priority at the moment to go and say, Oh, I want to film this. Right. So that, that, that's a little tough sometimes if, if you're not, you know, if you're not that person regular. doing that. Right. Yeah. And, and secondly, um, you, you know, you think to yourself, especially when we're, you know, quote unquote locked down a bit and we're, we're, we're only in one location day after day after day, or at least public appearance after public appearance being through social media, you start thinking, well, I'm here. I am doing another, another video in the studio. Here I am doing another video in the studio. Once again, I'm doing another video in the studio. Are folks going to get tired of this? Well, interestingly enough, no one is. And, and that actually is a little liberating because the sentence is like, okay, I'm just going to be me. I'm going to shoot what I think, you know, is interesting. You know, obviously, you, you maybe shoot three, four videos for every one that you put out. And, and, uh, and, and then you start getting feedback. You see what people like. You, you, you balance that with what you actually like doing, what you what you want to show you know obviously we're not going to show stuff that's for us is we want to keep more private uh but but that that's good so again the feedback is it's i'm i'm ready to, to post another one today but uh but but you know as far as like going back to what we were saying earlier the chemistry and being you know the interaction and, and seeing those things th those are genuine moments and and uh it's it's something where uh, if we knew what what it was to, to do it like specifically and could line you know well, then everybody write it out, like that. index it out like here here's what you do I guess it, you know it, it would it would it would make life a little easier but but it, <laughs> you know it's like it's kind of like that did you ever did you ever see that like that Ryan Howard uh, I'm sorry Ron Howard documentary on the Beatles um, eight is it eight days a week or something like that. Um, I probably have in my memory. It's the one. It's about their touring years, and <clears throat> it's they they call a bunch of new, you know, unseen footage as well as footage we've seen about the Beatles many times over. And there's there's one particular uh, piece uh, from their first, the Beatles' first arrival uh, in the United States, and they're holding a press conference, and someone asks them, said, "Well, you know, what is it you you guys do? What it you know to 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 make to write these hit songs?" And they their answer was. Well, if we knew, we'd we'd create another band and and be the managers, make make life easier on ourselves. But but you know, it's for us. We I, we do have a bit of a formula. Our formula is we just get in a room and we go, and we don't think. And 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 the best description comes from Adam. We're all we're all very reactive. So once one person starts doing something that 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 for whatever reason another person finds some inspiration in. It, it, it then becomes a trade-off and then everyone jumps in and it starts to escalate and it generally gets to a point uh, 
fairly quickly where we're all very excited and we're constantly recording. And, and as that happens, we start fine tuning things. We look at each other, give someone a nod and maybe say, Hey, go to this chord instead. Or I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll whisper into the microphone since I have a, a lead vocal microphone in front of me. I'll say, Dave, I, that was a great, great groove. Can you keep that going? Or, Ooh, I love that, that Phil Adam. Can you keep that going? And then he'll shout out at me. Oh, I like that vocal, you know, Kevin, same thing. And, and, uh, and so we have found a, a, a bit of a routine. It's not necessarily a, uh, a, you know, a, a line this is how you get it done like a, right a it's DIY not a formula or, or a step by step yeah but but we we do have a bit of a routine and it and it's it's very it's we've grown uh i, I want to say comfortable um but it's more like we've we've grown very uh we 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 believe in it and 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 it's given us a lot of confidence and and we are the stack of songs that are complete that are beyond the, th the songs that you have already heard, and I, I can say that without hesitation. It's it's long, uh, and uh, and it's we're having a really good time doing it. I mean, it's I'm sorry to say this the pandemic when when all of us so many folks are suffering. We're all suffering. So many folks, many much more than us, in in ways that go far beyond any disease. Um, we're actually thriving. What can I say? So we're no, thankful I, for that. And it's funny, you mentioned the Beatles. I think the Beatles put out, like, they recorded, like, four albums in a row. And then they went out. And I see more and more people are going, why aren't we waiting? You know, let's just keep going. Keep going. At least it's in yeah. the can. So when we do are able to get back out, we already got something. Yes. So I was so, I mean, I don't know if you want me to share the two tracks that you put out there on Instagram of showing Oh, yeah. Me. I mean, that yeah, guitar riff. Who's going to stop us? That guitar riff was like, yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. And Hesitate, I think, was the other one. And yeah. I'm like, wow. I'm like, I was like, yeah, give me more. This is great. Yeah, so, cool. I, I love hearing that. We Those those came up just uh, just a month ago, uh, you know, a month and a half, a month and a half ago. And it was just uh, our, our jam writing sessions. We, we don't go in there just to mess around. We go in there with an intention of just falling into something and we run with it. And, and it, uh, who's going to stop us, for instance, um, I, we had been doing a couple songs that were a little slow, you know, mid-tempo-ish, really, really nice songs that, 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 that are also, uh, a couple of them are nearly complete now. Um, the, the songs are written, I mean, the, pro the producing and recording of them. Um, and, and I actually started going, doing the na 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 on guitar. And, uh, and we all just launched into this bit of punk mayhem thing and uh we didn't really think anything of it we came back in the next day and we were reviewing what we had done the day before we were uh, like we like that let's 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 turn that into a song and uh we we finished it off really quick and and we're like well okay so let's let's just record what's what the best version is for today and then in a few days from now we'll come back and we'll try to get the keeper so we recorded the best version we went back a few days later and listened to that and and we we started to try to beat it with and and after about yeah, five ten minutes we're like eh, that ain't gonna happen <laughs> there was a moment we, we caught we caught a moment we were all there and excited we caught a moment and that was that we did some guitars and the fun thing about that with doing the guitars was that i didn't play any of the guitars it was my riff um and uh and and but, but we wanted a certain sound where normally we have that kind of that stonesy thing in the guitars between kevin and i where we're really playing off each other. He and I approach the guitar very differently. He's more uh, elegant, to put it mildly, uh, much more accomplished. I'm a little more attack, attack, attack. But we wanted a very tight sound. So he ended up playing all the guitars, including mine and that, and it gave it that, that tightness that we, we wanted. And, uh, and you, I think you saw it in the clips there, what he did. And, and uh, so we were excited about that. And then Hesitate was hesitate was something we caught like five seven minutes of this thing while working on another song and forgot about it and was i went what, back was and, that with kevin with the slide um kevin grabs a slide and it came out like a swampy like an old led zeppelin type of maybe, it was really cool oh no that was that's a different song that's that that one's still <laughs> that one's still uh in the uh in, in the, the stages queue. okay yes yeah we, we, we have it the long stack so we just we we tackle them kind of one by one. We've actually for the last couple of weeks we've been um, we've been working on getting the live stream together, uh, 
frankly, we had to relearn some songs because we'd completely forgotten how to play them. <laughs> you know, I, you know I, we'd be, we're reviewing tracks and we're like, oh, that's what I did. Huh? Oh, I, I, okay. I, I, I had no idea. <laughs> so, we, and, and so we had to do that. Then we again, I, as you and I were talking, uh, or we were talking earlier, we we uh, we had to a- adjust our, our mix appropriate uh, for, for streaming. And then we, we've uh, had to do some music video stuff. We're, we're working on a music video for Deep Division and some photo shoots and stuff and, and a bunch of interviews. So we so we've we've actually stepped away from recording and writing for the last couple of weeks. But uh, by the end of this week, we'll be we'll be well, actually, next week, we'll be digging back into uh, re- recording and finishing up stuff uh, for the end of the year. We, we hope to have at least two EPs done by the end of the year. We're gonna maybe get a little quarantine in California. No, don't 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 tell me. I want to be surprised on Thursday, Thursday night, seven p.m. Sons of Silver, Instagram, yeah. Facebook, YouTube. I was gonna ask you, what's the set list? Obviously, you're gonna play um, a few of the tracks, if not all, of Doomsday Noises, which is excellent. But I'm like, oh my god, quarantine in California. You guys just put that together, and boom, yeah. that one would like. That, I'm I'm glad you reminded me. <laughs> You forgot about that one. <laughs> no, I, partially. Well, I, actually, a little bit. I, I need to go back and relearn the lyrics. And and uh, I I didn't play guitars on that one. Kevin played all. I wrote. I, that's one of those rare songs where I wrote that song, and because we were we were quarantined, so I I just banged it out. I I sent it sent an acoustic version to Dave, and before I knew it, he'd recorded the drums, sent them to Adam, who had recorded the bass, sent them to Kevin who took what was kind of this sort of, you know, campy <laughs> campfire tune and, and, and turned it into a bit of a, a social, social D, social distortion song. So I, I actually, I have to learn those guitar parts over the next couple of days so I can play. But uh, we'll, 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 we'll squeeze that one in there, either that or the next one, because we're going to keep, we're going to do, do these regularly, but uh, it, it looks like. But um, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get that one learned. It was great. <laughs> Read them their rights, you said before, up to number 28? 20, 29, yeah. Wow. Nine, nine, you, nine, weeks in the top, nine weeks in the top 40 for our debut single. And uh, very, yes, very thankful for that. It was, uh, quite, a, it was quite an accomplishment for a, a, a new band, it's especially at Rock Radio. We're competing against all the legends. Uh, in, in the yeah, new legends, you know, the but, old legends. You know, but... Folks, I mean, I'm the new, I'm the guy wanting new music all the time, but there are folks looking for just to grab onto Sons of Silver, somebody out there going, because, you know, we're down the street is, there's no more rock. It's not the same, you know, yeah, there, yeah there's Greta Van Fleet, the young guys in Michigan who do a really good job. There's Dirty Honey, Mark LaBelle, and those guys do a really good job. But rock and roll is, I mean, I'm getting CDs. I'm interviewing people every day. There's so much good music. So uh, don't uh, don't underestimate Sons of Silver because you guys Thank got you. A, you guys got a great chemistry. You got a great thing going. It's starting to snowball. The word is out, and now you know you got these. Who's going to stop us? Maybe hesitate. You got this momentum going, we, and I'm, I'm yeah, just we happy. Have so- we have songs coming up uh, that are, you know, been waiting there for, for months now. A song like called Reeducation. That's an interesting one. Uh, nothing to hold on to. Uh, one of our favorites, um, it's uh, uh, With You, I Belong. It's in, in the vein of, it's actually more in the vein of, of Deep Division. It's got, definitely got a, a Fleetwood Mac type sound to it, but more, more rock and roll. Um, Pat, we're very thankful. We have, we've, we've had a, a, a good writing year year and a half here and uh you know as as we had mentioned in our previous conversations um songs like outbreak uh you, you know were written before all of the, the pandemic the, the coronavirus pandemic so for us we get we get folks asking us now well what are your next what are your new lyrics like <laughs> what, what 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 can we expect for for tomorrow in our in our future beyond music I'm like well you know <laughs> let's just say uh we cashed out all our stocks and sold our homes <laughs> <laughs> it's all good my man it's all good i have i can't get the smile off my face i was excited to hook up with you so we can do this so i can promote the live like stream what? thursday night october 8th 4 p.m pacific 7 p.m eastern i can't wait to get you on the road so we can really roll the dice but i think i played i know i played every 
track on the EP, and I love playing any of the tracks. There's no hesitation with that on my rotation, and I love the videos, and I thank you for doing the lyric videos and keeping them fresh, as well as the, the videos in the studio. Like I said, I find it very interesting, and when you look at the numbers of views, there's a lot of people that are watching, so I we're, think that's, we're, a, that's a good thing. We're getting a really high engage, a really high engagement rate, which is cool. Now, obviously, we, on, on Instagram, we don't have a lot of followers. It's not our primary social media platform, but we are. It's now starting to steadily grow, which is good. So, and 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 again, the the engagement rate is is thankfully off the charts. It's it's uh, really good. So, you know, feedback like this again is is great for us. It's it, it only you know. Uh, inspires us more to keep that going and, and it'll be it'll be so much fun when we can bring that on the road because uh, you know for me like when i look at some of my favorite acts and i see them do stuff like that i i enjoy it i like watching you know rig rundown when they when they talk about guitar pedal boards and lights or you know if someone's on the tour bus um it's it's and, and i do that stuff and i still find it fun Nah, it's all good. It, it keeps everybody, it keeps everything relevant and fresh. And it's like, wow, who's doing that? And check that out. And check this out. And did you see that? And it keeps your name out there. I mean, if yeah. we were just to sit in the studio, all right, what are we doing, guys? And not do it. I mean, we live in a visual world. You know that. Yes. So it's yeah. all about who would ever think I'm, I'm doing interviews by Zoom. I'm like, what is what? <laughs> so now you got to Zoom. You got to do the production. It takes time if you need to yeah. edit. And I had the video, which at the end of our chat in a few minutes here, I'm going to add um, Deep Division. So everybody gets to see that because I, right I love on. that song and get more exposure for that, my man. So Thank you. congratulations to you and that wonderful engineer keyboardist. Uh, uh, you got to have yes. a little maybe little baby little thing yeah. in the tour bus. Yes. Yeah. She's six months pregnant. Excellent. You know, congratulations. Co COVID kid. COVID kill. Oh, there we go. COVID. Yeah, this is well. This is this is actually the first public announcement. So yes, we're we're very excited. And, oh, I'm sorry uh, if I slipped and got it out. No, of the, it's out okay, of the Pat. No, it's it's it, it would come out eventually. Yes, we're beyond. We're. I can't explain how excited we are. It. it, it um. You. You have kids. It, it, you know, as you'd mentioned. Uh, yeah, off, I used to have black camera. hair. <laughs> and uh, I had a, a son Christmas Eve, who's 31, and I got a daughter Easter Sunday. So, wow, who's, who's 30? So, and then that was it. The the bunny went away, <laughs> and I used yeah. to have jet black hair. But you know, obviously, it's a blessing and well uh, worth it. It's all worth it. See, I think that's probably my daughter going. I'm listening to you. I see you talking about uh, me. <laughs> yeah, that's right. No, she. It's it's funny because. We, uh, the guys in our band all have kids, you know, young kids and, uh, and, uh, or Dave's got a, his kids are a little older and, um, and they're so supportive. We're all excited. Uh, you know, but to be honest with you, there are concerns because we're touring musicians or normally touring musicians is how's that going to affect road life, uh, our ability to go on the road, but we've got it all plotted out. We, we know that, uh, you know, will be things will change those first few months in particular we'll have to adjust our schedule um and 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 Brian in particular will will have to step away a bit more um obviously i'll be there doing as much as 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 I, she needs as i can as i i'll do everything if you know if possible but that aside uh, we'll be on the road and we're going to bring our 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 child on the road and uh you know have a little spot on the uh, you know room in the tour bus and uh give him a little drumstick Bum, 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 no, bum, drums. Bum, no drums. No drums. Oh. No. <laughs> you don't want to hear that in the morning. Come on, Dad. No, it's all good. I get yeah, banging on 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 the wall. I'm sure the whole band will love that. No, it's it's funny because when we when we told the band, they were so excited. I mean, they're they because they love kids, and we just we're all so close, and so they're they're. It's just it's gonna be fun. I mean, think about what a what an interesting way to grow up. And we have other friends who've done the same with their kids. They bring them on the road. You're on tour, and it's not like. You're, you're gone these days people don't tour the same way they did back in the 90s and before, where you're gone totally two, two years at a time now you go out for two three weeks you're home for a few weeks uh it's a different pace that that's much more manageable it doesn't disrupt your life when, when you're going out for months and months at a time and don't go home uh, that's that's right, tough, that's you know? crazy 
That's yeah. Those and, days and are over. Family yeah, first. No I watch Grace Potter. She takes her little boy on the bus wherever it goes. I watch all kinds of artists just having the baby, bringing them on the bus with all the other kids. And yeah. they got a little playground by the yeah. by the tour buses, and it's not yep. dad and mom are away for a month. And uh, no, 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 those no. days are over. Family, family first. Peter, more more than ever. Great, congratulations to you and Bray. Give her a big Thank hug you. for Pat in New York. Sun to silver this Thursday, October eighth. I can't wait. And it'll be it'll go good. Think positive, man. It's gonna go good. Oh yeah, it, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna it's gonna be very it's gonna be very casual. You know, we'll we're we're only gonna play a handful of songs. We've been asked by everyone to, who's who's working on this with us to keep the set short. This is the first one or two, simply because they want to gauge how people how long people are on. You know, actually viewing us because the different different fan bases have different attention spans, so to speak. But uh, so, but we're going to do a bit of Q and A, and we're just going to enjoy it. And and on the live, I'm sorry, the Instagram live feed, uh, it's going to be a little different. We're actually going to have someone who's just going to be walking around with the camera uh, behind the scenes, so as we're performing, because that one you can't actually uh, tie into the the traditional feed the same as you would if you were when we're simulcasting to to Facebook Live and and to YouTube. Gotcha. So that'll be a different experience too. So if you want to get your laptop out and your phone and sit there and you know do a bit of this, you can you can do that. But uh, but I it's, think it's, the uh, the analytics for me doing the zooms, I've noticed. I try not to go over twenty minutes because yeah. after twenty minutes, people are like okay, I got the key of it, I got the major content of it, what they're promoting, da 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 da, da. and then people like say well, even my podcast, it, the phone interviews no more than twenty twenty five minutes. And and, yep. and that's it because you're right. People just say, okay, they, they go fast forward, fast forward. That's fast a, forward. hey, that's a long time. Right. You know, that's, that's a that's a that's a big commitment. So so and, yeah. And so then the challenge for like you said, you're in front of a camera. It's not like there's a bunch of people going, yeah. You you know yeah. you you're piping in applause and people screaming, yeah. You know, you're like, be, be like an NBA game these days, right? <laughs> you're looking at everybody going. Nice shot. Hey, yeah. nice job, hey, Dave. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Peter, all the best Sons of Silver Thursday night. Check it out. You won't be disappointed. Buy Doomsday Noises if you have not already. It's one of my favorite EPs. All the best. And we're going to play Deep Division right now on Pat Soundbites IGTV. All right. Thank you, Pat. <laughs>